Difference between DMAIC and MADV in Six Sigma Lights, Camera, Action Today, we'll be exploring the exciting world of Six Sigma and diving deep into two of its most essential methodologies, DMAIC and MADV. These powerful tools are designed to drive continuous improvement and ensure the highest level of quality in your products and services. So sit back, relax, and let's get started on our journey to excellence. Six Sigma, as you may already know, is a data-driven approach to process improvement that aims to reduce defects and improve quality in any industry. At its core, Six Sigma focuses on two primary methodologies, DMAIC and MADV. While they might sound similar, they serve different purposes and are applied in distinct scenarios. Understanding the differences between them is crucial to ensuring the success of your Six Sigma projects. Let's begin with DMAIC, which stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. This methodology is utilized when you are looking to improve an existing process, product, or service. The goal is to identify and eliminate the root causes of defects, inefficiencies, or variations that are negatively impacting the quality of your output. First, in the define phase, you'll clearly outline the problem or issue you're facing and establish the project's goals and objectives. This is your opportunity to set the stage and rally your team around a common purpose. Next, in the measure phase, you'll collect data on the current state of the process to establish a baseline for improvement. This data-driven approach ensures that your decision-making is grounded in facts and figures, rather than relying on gut feelings or assumptions. Moving on to the analyze phase, this is where you'll identify the root causes of the problem by examining the data you've collected. You'll use various Six Sigma tools, such as Pareto charts, fishbone diagrams, and hypothesis testing, to pinpoint the factors that are contributing to the defects or variations in your process. With these insights, you can then progress to the improve phase, where you'll develop and implement solutions to address the root causes you've identified. This might involve updating procedures, providing additional training, or even investing in new equipment. Finally, in the control phase, you'll monitor the process to ensure that the improvements you've made are sustained over time. This might involve implementing control charts or other monitoring tools to track performance, as well as creating a plan for ongoing process management. In essence, the control phase is all about making sure your hard work in the previous phases continues to pay off in the long run. Now, let's turn our attention to DMADV, which stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Design, and Verify. This methodology is used when you need to create a new process, product, or service, or when the current process is deemed beyond repair. In this case, the goal is to design a process that will meet or exceed customer requirements while minimizing defects and variations from the start. The define, measure, and analyze phases in DMADV are similar to those in DMAIC, with the primary difference being that they focus on understanding customer requirements and identifying the factors that will drive success in the new process. Once you've gathered this information, you'll move on to the design phase, where you'll develop a detailed plan for the new process, including process maps, control plans, and other documentation. Finally, in the verify phase, you'll test your new process to ensure that it meets or exceeds the established performance goals. This might involve running simulations, conducting pilot tests, or even implementing the process on a small scale before rolling it out more broadly. Once you've verified that your new process is delivering the desired results, you can confidently move forward with full implementation. In conclusion, DMAIC and DMADV are two essential methodologies in the Six Sigma toolkit that serve different purposes. DMAIC is used to improve existing processes, while DMADV is used to create new ones or replace those that are beyond repair. 
By understanding the differences between these methodologies and applying them appropriately, you'll be well equipped to drive continuous improvement and achieve the highest levels of quality in your organization. So, whether you're a seasoned Six Sigma practitioner or just getting started, remember, DMAIC and MADV are the keys to unlocking a world of excellence.